I'm afraid this might be the end of modeling for many. You can now upload an image of an AI-generated model and a piece of clothing and have that AI model wear that clothing. Imagine what the future of marketing will look like in the coming years. I will be showing you how to use the Colors Virtual Try-On in the wild from Hugging Face and show you some results on different people. So here I'll be going over a live demo of Colors Virtual Try-On in the wild from Hugging Face. So what you can do in step one is upload an image of a person. So here you can see these are some selections of default examples that they have available. So I'm going to click this one, which I showed earlier. You just drag it in there. And you can see that this one is actually AI generated. So I'm going to choose uh, clothing here, drag and drop. And again, you can also drag and drop your own clothing that you want to try. And then you can play around with the seed, but I'm just going to use the default here. And then I'm going to hit run. How long it takes might depend on many variables, such as how many people are using it or uh, the type of image or model that you're using. But you can see here that this one is going to take 49 seconds to run. So after it finishes, we should see the output. But you can see that now it finished, and it did pretty well. I'm very impressed with how well this model did. So later on, we'll be looking at more examples and see how it does on different examples. So here's another example of the same girl with a mini mouse shirt. And again, this one did very well. Here's another example of a pink shirt. You can see that uh, if I move my head a little bit, you can see that the belly button is a little bit distorted here. Uh, but other than that, I would say this one also turned out very well. Also very impressed. Here's another one of a black dress. Um, you can see that um, overall it's very close. There's some subtleties in terms of um, some parts that's not quite exactly the same, like near the top. There's like a loop there, but it's very barely noticeable. It's, overall, it's still very good. Right here is another example. You can see that um, it's a man's suit, but now a woman is wearing it. The suit on the outside looks kind of close. It's definitely a tailored fit for the girl. Um, it's missing a white t-shirt inside, though. But overall, I would say it looks kind of similar, but this one is not as good as the other ones. So it tends to not do as well when there's a cross between uh, genders. So that's kind of expected. So now I have another example of Elon Musk. And here you can see I'm giving him a new suit. This You can see that this suit did much better on him compared to the girl. But let's see what happens if we let him try out some girl clothes later on. But Gucci is kind of unisex, so um, I would say this one did pretty well. I, I don't see any real issues with this one. This one is with a guest. It's kind of like a dress-ish, not really a dress, like a loungewear. Um, you can see that I think it kind of modified a little bit. I mean, his body is cut off, so you can't see the full length. But um, overall, the top looks kind of similar, so this one is also not too bad. But here I put him in a dress, and you can see it totally failed around the shoulder area. It should be like a spaghetti strap, but here it's like a wider tank top-like strap. So. That part definitely did not do very well. And here's another one. Put him in a pink uh, top, and it converted into a pink shirt. So you can see that in some cases, it's quite not perfect. But overall, with the previous example with the girl, I'm definitely still very impressed. So if you found this video helpful, give a like and subscribe, and I'll see you in the next one.